uh, and it's a faster paced carry, right? You come online a little bit quicker than other heroes. You have like magical burst damage uh, inside your physical burst. Mm -hmm. uh, so you're not too heavily reliant on items with all your skills. Uh, so you've got some options there. And Kanka coming out next for Team Brazil, which makes a lot of sense to me. Usually when uh, we see like, we've seen tiny enchanters at the start of every round and we've usually seen like carrying something or something and then a, a tanky frontliner mid if they don't have an offlaner picked out. Mm -hmm. At this point, it, uh, you're obviously going to ban out offlaners on Team Brazil. Uh, or sorry, against Team Brazil. Ten seconds and remain. Because that's the only option they have left. But the Kanka will uh, allow them to fight in the early game and I guess deal with the like hyper aggression from the Bloodseeker and sit underneath the gyrocopter while he's trying to burn you down. Mm -hmm. well, and allow uh, Costa Bila the space he needs to farm. Speaking of the gyro, gyro only having a 37.5 win rate. Uh, actually, not really doing well on that hero. He's 3 and 5 with a 2.58 KDA. And maybe that stems from the poor game that Hector had on it yesterday, that that KDA is very low, because he went like, just Hector. <laughs> uh, he went like one in, what, Five seconds. 12 yesterday? One in 16? It was, it was pretty bad. He was pretty tilted. Uh, there was definitely him canceling his own TPs by mistake and two and being up on the ground. Yeah. Was the exact, 211 is uh, not great for your KDA, that's for sure. Out. How many? How much ban percentage do you say Beastmaster had? Uh, Beastmaster has found himself banned 22 times, now a 23rd time, and that is 23 out of 36 games. Oh my god. And he's been like... picked or banned in 28 of 37 games, I guess this would be. It is like some uh, early TI Wisp pick ban, right? Yeah, well, actually, actually Tiny's worse and Bat Rider's worse, pick ban wise. Really? Yeah. Tiny's 17 picks, 15 bans, which this probably makes it 18 picks, 15 bans. Um, Bat Rider was banned again in the first phase, so that's 6 picks, 27 bans. Oh my gosh. So, yeah, every basically every game, uh, those heroes are getting pushed around with. There's a, a lot of percentages. Uh, Tiny pick banned in 84% of the games. As, long as, bat, as well as Bat Rider. So Nature's Prophet comes in as that last pick for Team Brazil. Nature's Prophet having seven picks and a 72% win rate. Doing pretty good. Um, you know, we've seen hero players like Chris Luck, KXY, uh, be on this hero. So we'll see as it's most likely looking like it's going to be in the off lane for King RD. Uh, and then we'll see what Thunder Predator want to do because it looks like they've got their safe laner and their off laner and they still need a mid. And they're going to be up against that uh, Kunkka. So. I'm going to need to slam back some monster after this game. Nature's Prophet pick. As soon as it came out, I, I couldn't help myself from yawning. Ah, the viewers at home, I will make this exciting for you as possible. You know, at the rivalry between these games. Uh, I also want to say that Costa Bile called this Do Dotes with an E, capital E Z at the end of it. Yeah, Dotes. You know, that's how Dotes, E Z. Yeah. There's that track. We've seen a little bit. We've seen it a lot out of Brile. Uh, of course, Leo style, uh, Leshrac, pretty good too. This hero comes online a lot faster. He's a very aggressive playing hero. So have some uh, excitement in the form of this guy. But other than that, not a whole lot they're doing differently this game. Uh, other than the two teams, it's much the same. I, I am always excited to watch Thunder Predator play though. Uh, they're one of my favorite SA teams. Beast Coast, uh, I'm liking, but they feel hit and miss again. These last couple of tournaments, they didn't really impress me, and Thunder Predator's kind of been like my favorite SA team to watch. Uh, I'd say I st still feel that way, despite uh, Beast Coast being at the top of this tournament. And again, Thunder Predator, the only game or only Ten team so far remain. to take a game off of Beast Coast, uh, ruining their perfect record. They're at seven and one now. They tied with Thunder Predator yesterday. I see Mark in the chat. Never forget Costa Bile TV. It was a mistake that uh, I made the other day. You don't let this guy farm. <laughs> yeah, definitely don't want to let this guy farm. And a uh, little track you were saying we've seen a little bit of it. This is the fifth time this hero has been played. Uh, just two and two, so nothing too crazy. 
Hashtag go crazy. But I'm excited to see Leo style on the Lush Rack. Again, it's a decent solution to the Terra Blade. Uh, you want to be able to get him with his magical burst damage. And of course, having Gyrocopter as you're carrying Leo style uh, as your mid, uh, you're going to have that magical burst damage for him. I'm a little bit concerned uh, what you're going to do after he gets the BKB, but hopefully if you can close this game out fast enough, you won't have to worry about that. And you don't want to be playing in the late against Costa Belay's Terra Blade anyways. So, the Predator, uh, their draft pretty solid against the lineup of uh, Team Brazil, but let's see if Brazil, the underdogs here, in my opinion, uh, can pull out a win. If there's uh, one hero for it in Costa Belay, it's definitely that TB. We are playing on US East server, by the way, for everybody watching, so both teams having rather high ping. The only person who doesn't is uh, the only non-Brazilian player on Team Brazil, Francis Lee. So I just had to turn off my, uh, my AC. It's, uh, running too hot? Or running no, too cool? It's starting to smell like smoke. So I turned it off. I see. You know, it's supposed to cool the air, not like heat it up and cause fires, right? Uh, that's what I'm hoping for. Was that your AC boiling? No, Is that it was. boiling I heard in the background? <laughs> no, that wasn't it. Someone ripped you off. They sold you a boiler and told you it was an air conditioner. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't really know what's uh, what's going on with that. That is. Uh, not. Nice. That shouldn't be happening. Let's go. The, uh, of course, BTS Pro Series Gamely Pause brought to you by Monster Energy, everybody. Drink responsibly. Be like coming out with the oi. Everyone coming out with the oi. I want this game to start. Uh, this is the reason why we were so behind schedule. We got to... Uh, actually, wouldn't even call it a South American issue at this point. Because crazy and whatnot has had it as well. I think four Zoomers had to pause for a little while, too. But, uh, every game, we get a pause for about... Uh, about five minutes of pause time, I feel like, every single game. It really pushes things back. When you got longer games as well, everything gets behind schedule, so... You guys aren't going to get ESL Thailand tonight. Instead, you're going to get uh, the continuation of ES, uh, ooh, ESL Thailand, BTS, Pro Series America continuation. It's getting pretty late. We're like uh, five and a half hours into this, and we're just on the third series. Yeah, uh, you know, we're after that first uh, series, it took uh, like three hours, even though it was only two games, which is kind of nuts. We're gonna have to um, pause part way through the game and to grab one of these monsters behind me. You can pick out which one I grab next. Because I'm getting kind of out of it. So let's see, you've got KJ Flea up top with Costa Bile, mid Kunkka, of course, and then the off lane King RD, Nature's Prophet. See how they do. Yeah, and then for the side of Thunder Predator, you've got this offlane Bloodseeker. We, we've been talking about this Bloodseeker in the offlane. Seems like uh, it's been very, uh, very good for whatever team picks it. Still going to watch, though. I don't take it back. Oh. They can go Shackle into a Blood Rain. That's exactly what they'll do on KJ. They've got the silence, they'll throw some damage onto the Enchantress, but now Matthew with three heroes here. Uh, looking pretty dead. So, they try to get the kill on a KJ, they pay for it. First blood given to 40 or mid. That is, uh... Yeah, not what you want to be doing. That's for sure. And he's gonna finish off a Bracer before the lane starts. Yeah, that's gonna make him even harder to harass out, and of course, uh, that extra damage is cleaved onto everything with his Tidebringer. He's having a very good time. Now it's just a question of how many bounty runes his team gets. Ooh, whoa, MJZ also dead? Yeah. Yep. Oh. Ended up winning super hard for that bounty rune, didn't end up getting it, and of course, it dropped kind of low there on the Enchantress. He decides to deal with it by just uh, suiciding to Roshan before the creeps even reach the wave, so. 
come back with full HP and mana, you do have to end up uh, using 90 gold for the teleport at some point in the game, but right now in the early landing phase, not an issue. You know, you got credit, no problem. Ghost of Belay opens by using Metamorphosis, but he's taking tons of damage. In fact, he's going to have to get back for the huge duration of this Metamorphosis. Uh, oh, oh they're talking they've back! They've got the toss on a Matthew, and they'll just get the kill instead. Stand his ground. They gamed him! Turned it around on him just like that. So, goes to Belay. Quick is three up. nothing. I, I think I've ever or one of the quicker three nothings I've ever seen. This a, does not look good for Thunder Predator already. Leo Style is going to be taking some heavy harass as this lane goes on as well. Look, he just <laughs> trades with him, sits underneath uh, what Leo Style is trying to give him. This should be again Leo Style favored the first couple of levels here. However, it's not look like uh, looking like it's going to stay that way. Once he has these lower cooldowns on Tidebringer, Leo Style doesn't going isn't going to get to exist in the mid lane anymore. Goes to BLA, 90 seconds till that meta's back up. You know, getting a kill already with the first meta. It's only sitting at six and five for the moment, but over mid, Kunkka, 40R, 10 and two, doing okay. Keeping up with uh, Leo Style, who's found his way at nine and one. I'm top lane. Uh, KJ ends up dropping very low right there, and he has thirst on himself. So Matthew will continue to uh, hunt him down. Yeah, you got the south now. You Curry was sent that out to you. That was a uh, very close. Oh, one break click away, and another monster energy pause. Quick one. Wait, no, disconnect. Wait. Needs a second. Yeah, it'll be a moment. Better predator are probably not happy about this one, from the fact that you're losing. Whenever I'm losing a game, the enemy team pauses. I just want to get right back into it, secure my lead again, end the game. Hmm. Now, take a quick look at bottom lane because we haven't really had a chance to touch base on it. Uh, See, so yeah, it's not really going either way at this point. Looks like both the teams have just kind of been focused on harassing the enemies out. If you can shut down MNZ's farm. Uh, and like slow down their ability to take towers, uh, push in the early game. Excellent. Anything that can buy Coast of Belay a little bit more time. All right, we're good to go. Now we don't have to talk about bottom lane anymore, which is hella boring. I mean, you still could. No one stopped me. But we me, won't. <laughs> but we won't. Instead, we'll talk about top lane where all the action's happening. Frank CS and Costa Bile sitting at low ish health. KJ trying to throw out these impetuses onto Matthew. I'm uh, just surprised, you know, that uh, mid lane has already gone so far in the favor of uh, 4DR here. I'm ready to see what Costa Bile does with this second metamorphosis and if he's going to. Uh... Play aggressive once again. Uh, uh. Commit to it. I mean, it makes sense. Again, uh, one of the reasons why people commit metamorphosis at the start of lane phase is uh, base damage is a lot lower. MJZ get tossed into a stack neutral camp. He's taking a lot of damage. He might actually just die to flee here if he's not careful. Should be able to get under the tower. Meanwhile, 40R dead mid. The chase was on for the venge. They don't get the kill, but Leo style. All right, he'll just off himself to the tower. Empty bottle. Didn't want to stay. Uh, all right, that's I guess the play. Yeah. That's the normal thing for mid laners to do when you, you can test uh, the mid, you end up getting them uh, very low. Or so you get yourself very low when you kill them. You just suicide the tower. That way they don't get XP. You're back to lane. They don't get uh, CS advantage from you having to sit back and be low HP and mana. Common tech. Bottom lane King RD TPs down here. Grabs the courier. The ultimate and gets out with that good stuff. 40 yard. And then the turn onto Leo Style. Looks like Leo Style might want to be aggressive for a split second, but ends up playing a little bit more passive after getting hit by the Torrent. KJ losing his courier. This meta runs out on Costa Bile, so not the aggressive meta that I thought would come out. But, um, you know, still CSing pretty well in this lane, keeping up with the gyrocopter that's down over towards bottom. Meanwhile, KJ. 
Just uh, shocking Frank. It's the uh, the reason people on Terrorblade uh, hard commit to metamorphosis at the start, early leaning phase. Again, uh, his, his base damage is okay, but uh, he gains 4.8 agility per level, meaning as the the lane continues, like it gets way easier for him to, to test CS. He gets way more armor. Uh, you want to be able to secure those first couple of levels and have a good time. Of course, you do that by having the extra 20 base damage. So that's why that's uh, done earlier on. Later, you definitely want to play around having a metamorphosis for team fights. Or in like the mid game, you want to be able to clear out stacks. But not a big deal putting on cooldown if you are securing yourself some CS in the landing phase that you otherwise wouldn't be able to get. Gold from my chest. So, for the moment, Leo style backing off, filling up that bottle. To the impurities. By picking up that bounty rune. You've got Kunkka 40R up at 40 CS, just about. Puts himself up to, to 42. He's doing a good job. They're up 1K, up 4 to 1. When we switch it over the net worth really quick, you can see how far ahead 40R is. Tower is in danger. Take a look at this one. Oof. Top Tiny. lane? Bottom as well. Flea getting chased. Flat cannon shots coming in. Flea one shot from dead. Oh, just surviving. And then meanwhile, up towards top coast of Billion, KJ getting pressured. Frank comes under the tower. They've got the shackle as well as the blood right power shot. A lot of damage onto the Enchantress. They'll finish off the kill. Metamorphosis committed by Coast of Billion. But uh, he won't get any kills with this. At least not yet. No. Yeah, and he's happy to just uh, CS the lane with this one. Again, he's uh, gotten what, three points of the Conjure Image this one. It's possible he might just retreat into the jungle shortly after uh, his metamorphosis ends here. Right again. Just pressuring back Coast of Ile. I'm not sure if they want to continue to do this with KJ coming over, but KJ can't exactly close the gap too quickly. Meanwhile, King RD gets a kill on him. MJZ towards bottom. TP out from Matthew and Costa Bile's meta about to run out. So, and the aggression that they thought they'd have in that lane with that metamorphosis is gone. The last two metas have been strictly farming. There is uh, haven't gotten any kills with either of them, but they still do lead five to two overall. Mm -hmm. Mid lane, Kanko's pressuring the uh, Leshrac out of lane. Kind of fills a shovel real quick. While farming the enemy's uh, camps as well. Exactly what he should be doing. Putting him behind the tower, farming his creep camps to make it so he can't get that extra with his uh, pulse. Right right down. Man on KJ or Costa Bile who pressure Frank behind the tower. Continue to have this Harpy Stormcrafter. Wrath of Nature finishes off Frank. Nicely done by King RD, but now they've got the Wave of Terror as well as the Omni Missile coming in. They'll try to get some mitigation of this damage from the Rocket Barrage with the Treants, but King RD, he sprouts and he's still dead. So a Quelling Blade there for MNZ. That'll help him get inside the Sprout to uh, finish off this Nature's Prophet. Yeah, Nature's Prophet uh, now down, Blood Seeker on the other side, but uh, slightly favored to uh, Thunder Predator there. He's having a good game. Matthew just ends up going down over here, playing. I guess. Well, the enemy teams are playing super far into the jungle. Flea playing very aggressive this game. I think the kills all over the map. He's the guy we definitely want to be watching. But right now, they need to do something about uh, 4DR pushing the mid tower here. But everybody already set up under this. I'm, they know that when we're just in. Well, Avalanche toss, MJZ, he's on the run. Magic Missile thrown at Flea. They've got MNZ coming over, Rocket Barrage, Shackle to stop the TP as well as the Split Earth. They get the kill onto the Tiny. Meanwhile, Rupture onto KJ. Frank coming around, KJ trying to survive, but he's just going to run himself out. Down to two shots, and eventually Frank will get the finishing blow. Your blood shall fill the sacred you're getting these kills, but you're also leaving Costa Bile to do his thing, and we've seen this story before. You let him get farm, he'll take off with the game, and 
pops his uh, illusions, like I was saying. He moves into the jungle. As soon as he knows that uh, enemies are coming, he's going to shove the lane to secure CS with these uh, under image illusions. Grab his uh, neutral items and went on the jungle. He's got his ironwood tree, he's got his drums, he's got uh, his power tread, so. Barely needs to do anything. His move, or sorry, his illusions have the extra movement speed. He'll probably grab a Yasha really quickly. Just make it easier for them to get from point A to point B and shove lanes for him safely. Unka using that ghost ship call down over bottom. MNZ in trouble. He gets taken out. MJZ makes the rotation along with Frank. Bloodright. He doesn't have rupture for eight seconds, but he does have the wand to get the mana back when he does have it available for him. All right, Silence is up the tiny as well as the Kunkka. They'll give chase. They'll use the rupture on King RD, but they need to try to commit to get this kill under the tower. Power shot hits, and King RD ends up dead. They have the X, but they get the swap. Now the Kunkka in trouble. Here, surrounded by three heroes. Avalanche hits all three of them. 40R gets behind the tower, thanks to Flea. All of a sudden, Costa Bioi coming in with the Metamorphosis. I'd love to get something going here as KJ does have the enchant to slow up Matthew, but immediately into the win run. So Costa Bioi commits the Metamorphosis, doesn't get anything out of it with all these heroes semi low over bottom. Mm -hmm. I'm surprised Costa Bioi uh, came to join this fight. And again, I guess he just saw an opportunity the fact that the enemies aren't really going to be able to take a fight onto him and he wants to dodge uh, Leo style on the Lesher Act. That's his main concern right now. He doesn't want to deal with all this uh, magical damage. And he sees an opportunity to take this uh, last tier one. And I'll open up the enemy team's jungle for him, which of course uh, he could safely farm while sending his illusions into the lane as well. I'm not sure if he's. Yeah, he's gonna send these. Uh, yeah, to cut the creep wave. Double illusion. Let's go. Ooh, nice there by Matthew. I mean, uh, power shot uh, one hitting those illusions. It gives you. Uh, Level times two and XP and gold for the kill. And it also slows down what the Terra Blade's got. It's a decent strat. Falling things around with the Wind Ranger, just power shotting the illusions. Definitely worth the mana. Mid lane. All down. Ghost ship coming in with the Avalanche Toss. They've got the X pullback MNZ and get the kill. Now they look over at 40 r because the homie missile hit. They've also got the swap as well as the rupture. Split Earth, focus fire, all on the 40 r and they're all around him, so they'll get the kill, and it's a shared bounty. Oh, huh? okay. <laughs> Everyone on Dire plays a part, including the creeps. Not bad. So, him going down there, not great, but he is uh, just 1,300 gold. Uh, sorry, 1,300 gold from his BKB. Once he has that online, there's not a whole lot they're going to be able to do to burst him down. And a lot of the damage right now is magical. They can't stop him from getting out of the plus here. Oh, mid lane, Matthew is just going to die here. Yeah. Good kill on Matthew. Very easily to wrap around and control this win run. They set their eyes top on Thunder Predator in response to that, though. They want to get some map control for themselves. Again, you've lost all of your Tier 1 towers and taken nothing from the enemy team. The question is if uh, Team Brazil will respond to this. It's a bit difficult right now with the enemies already set up on the tower, so they can just push bottom. And they go for Frank down here. And they find the Bloodseeker, they have the axe. And they do have Ghost Ship, but they won't even need it. They'll land the Torrent. The Blood Rite lands on it, too. So they're going to get around him and eventually kill him. It's just taking some time. All while Leo Style is getting soloed by Flea. How does that happen? Wow. 1,200 health. You have a Raindrop. Oh, uh, what? A Yule Scepter. And you died just Flea up here. How much gold did you get for that? Order 50. That is wild. This guy is so close to his Blink Dagger after that kill. Only 600 gold away. Two creep waves and he's got it. And yeah, he goes to just burst these creep waves down. Two, three, sorry. Bottom lane. Blood Ray comes out. I think they'll be able to take a fight here, though. Everyone on the side of uh, Team Brazil backed off after that. Uh, after reaching the tower. I don't want to fight uh, Leo Style now that he's back up. Illusion. Flea is so close to his blink. Flea's uh, a little bit further back. Doesn't want to have to deal with MNZ again. 
Basic, I can blow you up pretty quickly, just run you down with his homing missile, and the allies come, he calls down near your rocket barrage, you're just dead. Too much damage coming out in response from Gyrocopter, even when you're playing Tiny, you can't really deal with that. Bottom lane, KJ's ruptured. Question is if they'll kill him. Well, they've got TB coming over. And he's still running through this rupture. Has the heal, blood right down, and avoids it. So it goes to Delia right here. How far is Frank willing to go? If they get an enchant on him, he's in a lot of trouble, but not enough range on that. While Leo Style is dead again, and that's over mid. Let's uh, not move our eyes too far from the bottom lane, though. Terrorblade is still meta. Actually, you know, let, let's move our eyes too far from the bottom lane. Up here in the triangle, people are getting gone on. Fight breaking out. Avalanche toss out on MNZ. And I think they were looking for the X, but I think 4DR missed it. Focus fire from Matthew doing a consistent amount of damage with the flat kind of coming through from MNZ. 4DR finally runs. King RD on the run, but won't be able to TP out as the Shackle Shot comes in and stops his TP. So if we over here, Avalanche onto Frank. King RD. He's going for the TP out, and the power shot won't be enough to kill him. Blood right down on the ground as they chase Flea, but now they've got the X on a Frank, so Frank will be sent back. Rupture is how that all started over bottom, and Rupture back up, but won't turn into anything as KJ eventually does fall in the bottom lane of Leo style. But uh, just going absolutely everywhere. Not a whole lot of people going down despite all that action. I mean, we saw people chasing each other around the map. So that uh, Enchantress in the bottom lane was the only one to go down there. So 500 XP, uh, almost 400 gold going the way of uh, Thunder Predator. But for what? While well, all of this is happening, Costa Bile is farming somewhere with his illusions now. Got his, uh, Yasha here? No, not quite. Going for BKB after his Yasha, it seems. Again, 8.1k net worth, and it is uh, increasing at an alarming rate. You have to be very afraid right now to hear Thunder Predator. Go ship used on the Frank with the X. They've got the Wrath of Nature bouncing around, doing a lot of damage on these heroes. Blood right comes in. Shackle's not going to land. Avalanche thrown out by Flea. They've also got the swap. That'll save Frank for a moment, but the blink forward from Flea with the toss. And now he's been x They kill off MJZ. They get the double kill here for Coast Bile. And it's a two for nil in the favor of Team Brazil once again. They use this opportunity. Uh, probably continue pushing the light. I don't. Not head to the jungle and not chase Leo style, I hope. Alright, they decide not to push. Uh, even though the enemy team doesn't have Fortify up. He's in some trouble. Look for the TP out. Avalanche in time. It. Fui gets it. They've also got the axe. They'll get around this little track once again. Team Brazil chasing down these heroes one after the next on the side of Thunder Predator. And they are up 7k net worth. Lee, he's all over the place. You gotta watch out for this guy. Saying this uh, tiny is usually where the action is going to be. And just to be the death of Leo style several times this game. Taking out his Leshrac that one time by himself. I'm lane 40 yards, shoving the lane here. He's got his Black King Bar completely sitting on 1500 gold. But I don't think there's a whole lot they can do about them taking this tower. On a Matthew as well as the Torn. Here comes King RD. They'll get around Matthew. They're looking with the Centaur. Just uh, not fast enough. How do they turn this around? Frank throws the rupture out. Frank behind enemy lines, pretty deep. He ends up dead. They've taken the tier two tower, and now Matthew and Leo style corralled up to the high ground. So, where they go. I'm not sure they're going to be able to take high ground here, though. This is a bit much. You do have less oh, track here. Blink, out avalanche toss, and Matthew gets blown up by this tiny. They're going for the tier three tower with the metamorphosis. They'll look over at Fleet to try and get the kill into the tiny and just let him survive. The tower, the last shot that gets the kill. Leo style will get low. He ends up dead to Costa Bile. They'll buy back on the Windrunner as 4DR now with the BKB trying to run. It's only up for a couple more seconds, and one more shot from the tower will finish him off. I also got Costa Bile. Uh, Team Brazil overstaying their welcome just a little bit, but they're not done yet. They're going for KJ. This is going to take a while. Oh, no, never mind. Rocket Barrage, perfect ability to bring him down. But that last fight, even though you used uh, two of those buybacks, uh, 
XP, 1,200 going the way of Thunder Predator, gold uh, about 1,400. But you're more than happy to be taking these kind of trades, B Cop. I mean, when you're behind like this, you, you just want to get some of these heroes back in the game. You want them to get more XP. You want them to catch up somehow. So if you get one for one, if someone even trades, go for it. You know, anything that can bring down Costa Vila while well, he's got Metamorphosis up, go for it. Slow down the enemy team all you can. But, uh, again, they don't want to be taking this too late. They shouldn't be on the back foot like this, but they are. This would feel uh, very worrying with Thunder Predator. KJ getting spotted right after the TP. This is not fun for KJ. That was a life worth about 30 seconds of his time. Avalanche on a Matthew, but now uh, Flea's kind of in way too deep. And he's for the most part by himself until he dies. 40R comes over, forced to pop the BKB, MNZ Frank as well as Leo Style with MJZ around him. 40R, I don't know. Without his team, I'm not really sure what he's doing. He's forced to leave. He can't be anywhere close to this without his black king bar. And again, Kozabila doesn't really want to fight. He's still working on his uh, BKB. That fish is Manta. I don't know what. I don't wonder where what B forty R is building is going. Finishes BKB, but. I don't know how, if this makes the biggest difference. Going for a Scotty next. And again, I love Scotty against ranged cores. And of course, you're playing against a Leshrac, you're playing against a Gyrocopter. Gyrocopter usually loves building healing items as well, so. Mask of Madness, or if he gets a Paladin Sword and eventually a Satanic, being able to heal him for the fraction of the amount that it normally would against this uh, TP is definitely the move. But really, any stat items are good for TP, so Scotty is a natural pick for him. Start to box them in right now. Team Brazil. I'm not sure they'll be able to take Roshan though. Again, it's very scary to fight in the pit uh, to recall them to a flat cannon and to uh, everything that Leshrac has got going on. Tons of AOE damage there. Sweet is starting to dwindle a little bit. Forward close to the behind them. Metamorphosis used to hit the torrent. They'll get the swap on M and Z. They'll look over at MJ Z. They get the kill on the Venge. And now Shackle lands out of the TV. They'll also have the silence. Looking forward is Flu with the Avalanche as well as the Toss. Terraboid's taking a little bit of damage. He's got the BKB. He'll look over at Frank. They've got themselves the X as well as the Torrent onto him. So they'll get themselves a second kill. As well as the tier 2 tower up in the top lane. But that BKB, a 10 second BKB again used by Coast to be like. Yeah, uh, and this will open up uh, doing the Roshan or whatever else they want to get. But I don't think they're, they're going to go do that. Despite Metamorphosis having a decent amount of time left, I, I think that should have been their next decision rather than trying to shove down the mid lane. Just send an illusion to go do that. Head to Roshan with your Metamorph. Take it out and have your team get that last tier 2 tower in the mid lane. But, again, goes to be like uh, opting to finish up this scout before he does anything else, it seems. 2,900 out of 5,400 gold. Wow. 5,450. First throw to the game. 23 minutes in. I knew, uh, Steel and Aegis here probably extended their time in this game. But immediately evacuate from the pit. So, won't commit to it. The rest of, uh, Team Brazil coming over. Not sure how much they're going to be able to get from this. Bounty. Odd for us to see a bounty room picked up uh, three, uh, one, three minutes after the spawn, but whatever. You know, left over for quite some time. Gyro did no a good job of starting to come back. Uh, you know, it is an AK lead, but a lot of that's on the tiny score position and. Uh, the split between Nature's Prophet and the Bloodseeker. 
Please been doing so, an excellent job. Certainly the game. ability to come back. Swap was used. They have the Shack on a King RD as well as the Magic Missile Power Shot coming in. Frank with a kill on the King RD and another one lost on the side of Brazil. They need to be very careful about what they're giving up, especially when the plans are at least in the eyes of Thunder Predator were to go for Roche a moment ago. They decide not to. Again, your Nature's Prophet is dead. Uh, you don't know where the enemies are right now. Be a bit careful. Not too careful, apparently. They can see Bloodseeker in the bottom tower. They can see Gyro Cup. These are two major threats, so. With the information that they're there, and Tier 1 tower taking mid, Tier 1 tower taking top, it opens up Roshan to them. But some they realize they're over there? Yeah, look at him. He's paying. Tier with the Divide. It is going to be too late. Power shot. Get the last shot on to Roche. Throw a blood right down. Frank thinking about going in. MNZ also here. KJ is in a bit of a difficult spot. The damage coming in from MNZ. It will kill off KJ. After nature comes out, but really doesn't deter them much as they finish off the Enchantress and push into the mid tier too. See if they can do that up against the people used to. I'm not sure about Terrorblade being the carrier. Again, Kanka, they just brought the tiny, all seem like they're close. Terrorblade gets blown up and dies. Uh, he gets blown up and dies. You now he's not going to get that metamorphosis uh, BKB off as he gets back up. And if he does, I think he's just setting himself and his team up for failure. Yeah, a little triangle, but it's all in the. Uh, Oh, it's going home. I bet. We'll have to keep watching it from Matthew. He's coming over, looking over at King RD. 40 yards right here. Shackle comes in. Actually, he shackles himself. Interestingly enough, with that X. Well, well. Hmm? So, I'm running down the top lane. Uh, they're looking to take a, more control of the map again, not really with their 5k net worth behind, not feeling like their 5k net worth behind. But we are just giving Coast of Belay more time to farm. This is about to be the most widest terror blade. TB coming over, homing missile hits, MNZ in some trouble, throws the call down, now swapped by MJZ, still right into the fight. They've got the Lotus over on the coast of Bealy, they get the kill on the KG, they lose MJZ. So, so far it's a one for one with the buyback coming in from the Enchantress, they look over the Tiny. They've controlled him up, but up in the air twice in a row. They've got the toss on a Leo style on a really bad spy. I'm not sure they can help him. Blood right down, Sprout. The King RD doesn't hold him close, and now the rupture. Yeah, they've actually ruptured, ruptured Frank. Oh, and so yeah, far in wow, it. Frank oh. ruptured himself. Nowhere for him to run with King RD coming over. Oh, double smoke. Probably an accident. Mm -hmm. At least do you think? Uh, yeah, I'm considering I'm seeing the sorry. You know, please don't kick me, I'm sorry. He just still in the inventory. That one toss on a Leo style call down. That's going to come through onto a couple of these heroes because the VOA look to get the kill on MJZ as they get the swap out on a Leo style. No, Leo style. Yeah, Leo style Black King Bar is not going to do a thing. BB is not going to do enough. When you take the right click damage coming in from the Terror Blade, they go past the tier 2 tower, homing no, missile, and it hits the TB, but he honestly fallen. doesn't care. And now he's happy to hit on, sit on the high ground with uh, his teammates behind yeah, him. He's just going to Sunder. Up for HP. You can buy yourself time, but uh, I think that's it. Supposed to be like just tearing through everything. Look back here. Certainly they don't. They're styled dead for another 46 seconds. I think you, you stay in. That missile coming back towards the enemy heroes, but they leave. I'm trying to give them a fighting chance almost. You do have to be uh, a little bit worried about the, the driver cop and wound rangers got, but that rupture is not going to hurt you unless less track or less track survive actually. Really just him and the BKBs when cooldown for Terrorblade. 
So, if you were to Lotus Orb the Lotus Orb homie missile, would it go back at the TB? Yeah, I think all reflected things have no reflect uh, modifier on them. Okay. Yeah. Oh, it's a case for several things. It would have made me happy. If we just saw it sorry. constantly like that. I'm sorry that you have no uh, forever back and forth. Oh, for five seconds. The thing is, it's instant. It's an instant return. Uh, so you'd be using like infinite attacks instantly. The game would just, I think, get overloaded and crash. Be returned it back and forth like that, depending on what it was. every server tick until it expires but I'm not 100% sure. Don't quote me on that. Where's my pension? Oh, 18k net worth was the gyro. Oh, and I, I gotta say, the gyro has been keeping up. You haven't increased that gap at all on Terrorblade in the last couple of minutes here. And uh, your Aegis finally expires without you getting a use of it. Enemy team pings him out because they see it, too. Split Earth, they'll get the kill there on a KJ. And they're gonna blink forward, look for the shackle out on the Terror Blade. Have the BKB to fall back on. If the BKB is used to escape, it's not the best in the world. Somewhere, someone lays blame. Gold for my chest. Things have slowed down a little bit though, ever since uh, Burst disappeared. Or he just disappeared. Both teams don't want to commit too hard, and again, you are happy with this if you're third predator. The 19. I'm sorry, you're happy about this if you're Team Brazil. Yikes. I'm gonna have myself a monster after this game. Teams just kind of dodging each other. Gyro taking this top tier one. Aghanim Zephyr will help make quicker work of this. It's a double attacks off on it. Terrorblade's still quite far from uh, this team. The Titan Slipper. Now holding the Titan Slipper, going for that MKB. Kunkka, meanwhile. What is he holding? Repair Kit. Oh, he also picks up the Mindbreaker. Okay. Mindbreaker makes a lot of sense. Yeah, gets on top of someone for a second. It's hard for him to counter initiate, get out. Or if uh, Ventral Spirit uh, gets hit, hard for her to swap one of her allies in instead of her. Turns to the to pull the back line, get that uh, Venge, stop him from saving the allies from TB. We'll see. There's a lot of options here. I like Mindbreaker. 800 image duration for TB. This could shape out to be an extremely long game, just shoving lanes with illusions. Not be looking that, or I look forward to that one, to be honest with you. <coughs> Potentially, uh, it could be that way. We'll have to see. We'll track Bloods, uh, Bloodstone at 14, his BKB sitting at 8 seconds. Gyrocopter, meanwhile, he's almost finished off the Satanic. His BKB's at 9. I don't like how this game has slowed down to a crawl, but let me speed things up with this smoke. If, uh, if Thunder Predator are able Leo to be style, he's the one who's gonna get caught with the avalanche, but the BKB's gonna popped. And I look for the split earth, the Mules is used, BKB pop by close to BLA, going with the right clicks, pops that bloodstone, MJZ was trying to help, but it may not be enough. Leo style falls to close to BLA, now that we got the rupture out, that's on to close to BLA. He's down in the blood right, Sunders beforehand, now he's been silenced, they get the pullback on MNZ. MNZ trying to run. He still has that BKB to work with. They've shackled up the Tiny on the high ground, and they'll retreat the rest as they lose both the Venge as well as the little Shrak. It's a wild to me that Zarocopter somehow gets away despite being slowed by 50% by this Terrorblade. Status resistance of the Titan Slipper and the... Toss on MNZ, pops the BKB, shack onto the TB as well as this Nature's Prophet. They'll do some damage on a Matthew and focus him. They'll hit the Torrent, lock him down, kill him off, dead for 74 seconds with Bida. Oh, Gyrocopter is in the base all the meanwhile. He needs to heal up. He can't contribute just yet. But his other cores are still dead. They can't do anything for him. Call down. Three towers are now open. 
done anything just yet. King RG trying to sprout and leave. They've got the Shackle out on the Terror Blade. TB has Sunder available with BKB. Gets the Sunder out on MNZ. Got to see that coming. He popped the BKB. They've got the damage. Just killed the Gyro coverage. Jim for 85 seconds. No buyback. MJZ falls as well. Rupture out, but it won't matter. Avalanche on the Frank. They've also got the X as well as the Torrent landing on a Matthew. They'll chase him, and they should be able to get the kill. Meanwhile, free hit with the clumsy net. And Frank right clicking away but just doesn't have the damage. What a right down, Fleet avoids it. Well done, buyback coming in from Frank, but it's not gonna matter. What? Did he just get... He teleported and spread the Ancients, if that's your question, yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes, that did happen. Titans the rest of on coast to Belay. Well, they don't have catapults here yet, but uh, you know, Wind Ranger dead for 34 seconds. Child for another 30 here. Carrying apart this uh, bottom set of racks. Question is, if they're able to get it against these three heroes on Thunder Predator. So Rax is one left, but 10 seconds left and respawn. Team Brazil decide to play it safe, they get back, and uh, they set their eyes the to Battlegrounds, perhaps Roosh. Their fights are pretty risky though, you're winning really hard already right now. So what the can you take it before they get out? I mean, they just scanned it out. Everybody starts grouping up now. Oh. Missing that double damage at the 36 minute mark. Unlucky. So they're pinging constantly then. Double damage could have secured out the game, blown up that Rax in seconds with that metamorphosis. Oh boy. Right on a Frank toss up into the air. They've got the Hex coming through King RD. Solar Crest placed by KJ on a Frank and the right clicks to finish him off from Coast to BOA. Buyback is a cooldown for a minute and 16 seconds. Uh, I think this is just how they lose here. <laughs> Tier 3 goes down. Rax now exposed. You see the right click damage coming to finish off the melee. Rax, Shaco doesn't connect on anybody. Flat cannon being thrown. Magic missile out on the coast of Bewey. They've got themselves mega creeps, and the damage on MJC is more than enough for him to go down. Buyback on the Venge. They've got the hex out on a Leo Stott. Toss him back right on the KJ. Right clicks from coast of Bewey. Still just so much. I'll call GG. Brazil will take game one. Brazil, you uh, you definitely don't lift this terrible farm. Again, I feel like you should just respect ban Coast to b -Lay's TV at the start of the game. Uh, it's far more scary than anything else that you could go up against. This this guy on this hero, you let him have it, he'll rip you apart. And he did. Uh, very fast drums coming online. Of course, he, he was able to just shovel into the illusions with those drums up the first item. Uh, then after that, he just pops off, builds Scotty against your range heroes, and uh, eight clicks down mid. This guy is such a good farmer and TV player. Yeah, I think that keeps TV's uh, win rate at 100%. Or no. Maybe 32. I, I forget. It's either 50 50 or it was. Uh, no, it is 100%. Yeah, three games, three wins for this Terra Blade. Two of those being Coast the BLA. Maybe all three of them. I, I actually forget if he was the third one. But they just let him farm and the pace of the game from Thunder Predator was not enough for them to overwhelm this Team Brazil side who had a lead basically the entire game. So at the end of the day, Team Brazil take game one and uh, we'll see if Thunder Predator can swipe a game here. Thunder Predator currently sitting at 1-3-0 and oh, while Team Brazil are 1-2-0. So a win for Team Brazil would put them ahead of Thunder Predator. And we'll find out if they can get that win coming into the next game. So we'll be back with the next one in just a moment. Stay right there.